Hey guys, Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. I'm at home in my home garage today. I'm about to put a coat of what I believe to be the best protective product on the planet. Of course, I would say that. My name is on the bottle and I've got a fantastic reputation in my industry for producing amazing products and results. So, go figure. Anyway, my brand new Ceramacrylics line is a hybrid technology line of the huge stuff on the market and I've always been a huge fan of the acrylic stuff. Um, much like the actual technology on the brand new Sea-Dews, the CM Tech, which in the industry unfortunately has been a little bit of an issue with uh, Sea-Dew and this technology just because they had a few issues at the beginning which a lot of companies do. I've had my own issues. We've, you know, all messed up. Um, I wouldn't not buy a Sea-Dew because they've got issues with the CM Tech material. The bottom line is, if you can get a company who makes a mistake to take care of the mistake, where's the problem? I don't see one. Unfortunately, you're inconvenienced sometimes. Sea-Dew, a little bit of an inconvenience for some of you guys, but I hope that doesn't, well, and I'm not affiliated with Sea-Dew at all. I just personally prefer them. I own a, a, another business called Reset Charters where we do guided adventure tours. And uh, all of my Sea-Dew, or all of my ski, I have nine skis. So all of the skis except for two of them are Sea-Dew. Uh, and that's just because I wanted to do my own comparison uh, of what I prefer uh, versus you know the Yamaha and the Sea-Dew situation. Uh, I can tell you that I have ridden all of the current Yamahas, all the current Sea-Dew, and this behind me is a GTX uh, 300 Limited. It is the top dog, top tier in power and in luxury that Sea-Dew offers. I absolutely adore this ski. Uh, they had some issues early on with the CM Tech material, which is the acrylic overlay on uh, basically the gel coat underneath so the color is laid down then they laid down that acrylic on top of that which is supposed to protect what's what's on there uh sea -Dew also had a little bit of an issue early or late in 17 early in 18 with uh the the new uh st3 hull cracking now my ski only has seven hours on it um i don't have any issues as of yet but i guarantee you that the ceramic acrylics, the pro hybrid boost spray coating is not gonna affect negatively in any way, shape or form your ski. Uh, we also have the, the actual ceramic acrylics pro hybrid coating. Uh, this actually has a very mild solvent in it. And, and I know when, when you say solvent, it scares people, but this is uh, actually the solvent that's in here is what's used to make a lot of gel coats. Uh, so it also isn't gonna harm your ski. Uh, what I would tell you though is this is a great option for sure for maximum protection, but if you're looking for ease of use with fantastic results, gloss, slickness, um, hydrophobic ability, uh, that just lasts and lasts and lasts and takes literally no time to apply, uh, you're gonna either want the hybrid rinseless wash, uh, which if you're not familiar with the Gary Dean wash method, it is a thing, uh, the GDWM, if you just Google search the Gary Dean wash method, you'll see the videos that I've shot showing you how to safely wash your auto, boat, RV, motorcycle, whatever you have uh, with a rinseless wash process, which uses less water, takes less time, uh, it's just more efficient. You're doing panel by panel versus the whole thing. Uh, it also cuts down and or eliminates the possibility of water spots. So rinseless wash and I also have uh, the hybrid wash uh, clean and protect which is the shampoo that has the uh, the two technologies built into it so if you're just looking to 
clean your ski, it's all you want to do, uh, or auto boat, RV, whatever, these particular products, these four products were designed for any finish. Uh, the only thing that I would not recommend using the coating on would be black plastic trim or any color plastic trim. Uh, it will, uh, because of the application system, the formulation in it, uh, it does have a clay involved that um, without getting too technical, it will stain your black pla plastic trim, which is why for your Sea-Doo, Yamaha, um, any of your jet ski type Kawasaki or whatever personal watercraft situations, I recommend highly the Ceram Acrylics uh, Hybrid Boost um, or the soap or the rinseless wash. The benefit to the soap and the rinseless wash is you're getting all of that goodness and protection uh, left behind with just the wash process. The problem is you don't get as much of the um, the technologies, the, the beneficial protective elements left behind as you will with the hybrid boost. So with that said, um, there's also, when you buy the, uh, the actual hybrid coating, I also supply, I don't know if you can see that, I supply a installer sticker, if that will focus, probably not. Anyway, the installer sticker basically tells you what product was used, uh, gives you an opportunity to write your information down and the date it was applied. Um, I'm seeing, you know, here's the thing, longevity ratings are, in my opinion, bullshit, uh, because you can talk to somebody in, um, Washington state, and then you can talk to me here in Florida, and we're getting two different ranges of longevity. Um, and you just cannot go by, um, a set number in every different environment. You just can't. I can tell you in the salt water environment here in Florida, uh, the base formula from almost four years ago of the Ceramic Acrylics Pro Hybrid Coating, uh, we're getting three plus, we're actually almost to the three year and 10, mar 10 month mark with the coating. Um, now, your situation may vary. I don't know what to tell you. I'm not one that wants to give you ratings. I will always only explain to you my personal experience. Um, I'm getting over a year worth of one application of the uh, Hybrid Boost. This stuff is amazing and super easy to use. Again, I would tell you whatever, I guess, but I'm not a bullshitter and I believe wholeheartedly in real world experience as opposed to those random keyboard cowboys on the internet that really have no clue what they're talking about, but spew out information. So consider your source is really what I'm getting at. But this product, so easy to use. I'm gonna do a little demonstration. It comes with this, the little mini sprayer. Uh, there's a lock and unlock on these mini sprayers. So unlock, obviously. Um, I recommend microfiber towels, which I do. I have them on detailjuice.com. You literally just spray it on. I haven't sprayed out of this before, which is why it's taken a second. Anyway, spray it on, that's it. And then you wipe it in. I have already washed this ski. Um, I used, I did not use the ceramic acrylic stuff uh, to wash the ski. Um, I actually used my infinite use detail juice to wash the ski. Uh, and that is a very versatile, polymer solution. <clears throat> it's like a lubricant and protectant, a little bit of protection. Uh, it's a glossy, glossifying lubricant that adds some slickness. It's a very versatile product. You should look into that too. It's the Infinite Use Detail Juice. My Infinite lineup is, is pretty awesome. Again, I use all this stuff pretty much every day to make money in my own detailing business. And um, all I can tell you is my personal experience. So when it comes to your sea -Doo. You can see me applying this stuff to the sea -Doo, no problem at all. Um, for all intents and purposes, I'll go ahead and uh, just show you a section with the coating. Uh, brand new CM Tech uh, material, I'm not afraid. Uh, I know that it's not going to harm the finish, so I'm going to go ahead. I'll put a little bit on this uh, microfiber towel. A little goes a long way, and generally I would recommend uh, machine application, just because it spreads thinner that way. But, I mean, literally, wiping it right on the surface, 
and then you let it haze. Uh, so you let it sit for an hour, then you come back after that hour, you hand buff it off, and then it needs six hours to cure. We are working on narrowing down that cure time to less than the six hours. It's a complicated process, we're working on it. I might have an update video for you in the next several months at some point uh, where you know the, the product works the same but cures in less time. But the reality is six hours isn't a big deal. So apply it, let it haze, wait an hour, hand buff it off with a microfiber towel, and then it needs six hours at that point. So anyway, you saw me apply it like that, but I just want to tell you the cool part about this uh, spray coating is you can get it all over your black plastic trim. If I can grab a towel. You can get all over your trim. It's not going to stain anything, but it will protect the trim as well. It's going to add a level of UVA and UVB resistance to all of your black plastic trim. It is truly an amazing, wonderful, versatile product. And I know I keep saying that, but I'm telling you, all you got to do is give it one try for yourself and you'll know for sure that this is what you've got to have on your your Sea-Doo, your Yamaha, your Kawasaki, your auto, your regular boat, your RV. Everything would benefit from having this stuff applied. The, the other cool part, so we've got your essentially your paint or gel coat, your black plastic trim, no problem to use this stuff, and your seat all over the seat. I hope you can see that from there. I'm just going to drench it all over the place. Wipe it in and now you have a layer of UVA and UVB protection. Um, it is basically, the cool part about it is uh, when you apply it to uh, your vinyl or leather, you're actually getting the water resistancy that you would on your paint. Um, now the water will beat up after it cures. It takes about an hour for this one to cure, um, but as it hardens on there uh, or cures because it stays flexible, um, as that happens, it is basically keeping the water and debris from penetrating the surface, but still allowing the material to be breathable, which is what you want. So anyway, you just saw it. You just saw me apply this stuff all over my brand new damn near $20,000 Sea-Doo. That's after the trailer and everything. Um, with no issue. I would, I would apply this stuff after every single ride if you want to, or apply it once a year. You will notice if you wash your ski after every single ride, which I always recommend, I can't say with any kind of honesty that I use soap every time I take a ski out of the water. And in fact, I do not. In fact, I shot another video about this ski and what my process is when I pull it out of the water. I really just hose it down, to be perfectly honest with you. And I've had great results with that. I've been riding skis for years and years and years. And, you know, recently I went on to this adventure with the new company, Reset Charters, that I told you about earlier. And now I do guided tours, or we do guided tours, but um, I've never had an issue with the way that I just rinse a ski down. It's all about getting that salt and the contaminants off. Even if you're in fresh water, you still want to rinse it down, wash it off. Um, most guys even like to spray the engine bays and that kind of thing down. Um, and that's awesome too. Uh, when you've got a good uh, protective layer of my salt barrier, which is the engine protective product, uh, if you've got a, a layer of that, it lasts four to six times the leading competitor. So any of the other manufacturers, including Sea-Doo, have their own product for that. Uh, and in the development of my salt barrier, I wanted something that just lasted longer and protected better. So not only does the salt barrier push the water out of its way, uh, but it also protects so that water and salt can't get to it and any other cor corrosive materials can't get to your metal parts that potentially will corrode. Um, nobody likes the corrosion situation, obviously. But when it comes to protecting your ski, the easiest way possible. Ceramic acrylics is the way to go. 
this is the maximum protection you can get out of my entire lineup of products, period. It's incredibly versatile. You can, it's as easy to use as a detail spray. You spray and wipe. Now, I will tell you, <clears throat> because of the concentration and how strong this formula is, you want to do it out of direct sunlight and you want to do it on a cool to the touch and dry surface. I would not recommend using this as a drying aid. However, you can use the marine spray hybrid coating uh, from the brand new coating from my marine line. You can use that as a drying aid. The, the two solutions are pretty similar. This is far stronger, so you get more protective ability out of this. Um, the Marine product has um, a hydrating polymer in it that this doesn't have uh, to basically hydrate gel coat better. Uh, but you wouldn't, I mean, that doesn't offer any negatives to using it on um, Imran or uh, any of the other types of marine finishes. You could use it on any of them, no problem. But as far as the best of the best, ease of use, fantastic slickness, gloss, protection, and will not hurt your brand new baby, as far as that CM Tech material that CD was having some problems with, this right here, guaranteed not to damage your finish. Um, and as you saw, I applied the coating right here. I'm gonna wait, actually, I will probably do a separate video on the coating because I'm going to coat the entire ski in it and I will do update videos. If you guys if you guys have questions for me, leave a comment down below or you can reach out to me directly at 813-846-4406. I can talk to you till I'm blue in the face about how awesome this stuff is, but you'll never know unless you give it a shot. And I can tell you I stand behind every single bottle that I mail out. When we ship a product to you, you have my commitment to help you and make sure you're getting the best out of that product. All you've got to do is use my phone number or send me a message or leave me a voicemail or find me on Facebook. It's easy to get a hold of me and I'll do whatever I've got to do, not only to earn your business, but to keep it forever. Thank you guys for watching. If you've got questions, please let me know. I can't help you if you don't use the number. Have a great day, guys, and thank you so much for watching.